All right. So these were the five layers of the cornea and how the different functions uh, affect, uh, uh, how their functions are important when we're discussing systems in the science of cornea. So when we talk about lesions of the cornea, there are different types of changes. Degenerative changes, the dystrophic changes, the symmetry changes, and all that stuff. And we will discuss what is exactly. The first thing, the first topic we will be discussing when we, uh, in our next session, start in the next session, is keratitis. So, keratitis kya hota hai? Kera means cornea, or kerato means cornea. And itis is the classical word for inflammation. So, keratitis is inflammation of the cornea, straightforward. But it gets really confusing when we have this different terms, stromal keratitis, superficial keratitis, deep keratitis, endothelitis, etc. So how can we discuss keratitis? So if there's an inflammation of the cornea, it can either be superficial inflammation or it can be a deep inflammation. And how do we tell it's a superficial inflammation or it's a deep inflammation? We actually see which of the layers of the cornea are involved. So, kisi ko idea hai ki kisko superficial kehte hain, kisko deep keratitis kehte hain. So, the demarcation for this is actually the Bowman's membrane. If there is an inflammation of the cornea, if there is a keratoconeatitis inflammation, which only affects the epithelium or both the epithelium and the Bowman's membrane, they can stroma ko affect the keratitis. So it's called a superficial keratitis. Okay. Keep this in mind. A superficial keratitis is only affecting sorry, superficial keratitis is only affecting the epithelium and it and and or the bone membrane. In involved it's superficial keratitis. So relatively, we know that if it's a superficial or deep keratitis, which also involves the stroma and the decimates membrane and the endothelium. So this is superficial keratitis, which involves epithelium and the Bowman's membrane and deep keratitis, which involves the deeper parts of the cornea. Now superficial keratitis, I get continuously this whole patch ko hai, superficial keratitis. Ne. Meaning that uh, there's no cells, they khatam ho gaya, uh, all of this is being removed, right? This is being removed. This is also superficial keratitis. superficial keratitis. But instead, if all of this isn't removed, we have some smaller patches. All of this isn't removed, but we have some smaller patches which are being removed. What the there's one patch over here, which is being removed, one patch over here, one patch over here, one point over here, which is being removed on the super uh, on the epithelial layer. So this is called superficial punctate keratitis. It means that some parts of the superficial layer, uh, it's a superficial keratitis, meaning it only involves the epithelium in the woman membrane. And it does not involve the whole epithelium. It only involves some parts or some patches or some typical uh, points in, at where it punctures the epithelium. It is also abbreviated as SPK or superficial punctate keratitis. In any case, it's a keratitis involving only the superficial layers and only some parts of the epithelium. Here, the superficial punctate keratitis. Or superficial keratitis. It is a deep keratitis. A deep keratitis It involves the stroma, it involves the decimates membrane, and it involves the endothelium. So, we have the definition if it only involves the stroma, we call it as a stromal keratitis. And we, uh, if it involves the endothelium as well, and the decimate membranes as well, we call it an endothelitis. So here we have an anatomical basis to call a classification. Now, how do we know that these structures are involved? 
इस सवाल पर आपने सोचना है और इसका हम अभी थोड़ी देर बाद जवाब डिस्कस करते हैं सो दिस वॉज एन एनाटोमिकल क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कैरेटाइटिस और इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑफ दी कॉर्निया कैरेटाइटिस तो हो गया अब दे इज ऑल्सो टू टर्म्स वन इज एवरेजन स्लैश एरोजन दोनों यूज इंटरचेंजली इन द सेकेंड इज कॉर्नियल अल्सर क्या फर्क है इन दोनों में बोथ आर लॉस ऑफ एपिथीलियम हमें को अल्सर का पता है वी नो द डेफिनेशन ऑफ अल्सर एंड अल्सर इज अ लॉस ऑफ एपिथीलियम और डिसकंटिन्यूटी इन द सरफेस ऑफ अ म्यूकोजल मेम्ब्रेन दिस लॉस ऑफ एपिथीलियम अल्सर व्हाट्स द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एन अल्सर एंड एन एब्रेजन इन्फ्लेमेशन इन्फ्लेमेशन दैट इज द गोल्डन वर्ड इन दिस केस अ कॉर्नियल अल्सर विल हैव इन्फ्लेमेशन ए abrasion or an erosion will be without an inflammation aap retile sahara mein rehte hain retila ilaka hai hawa ka chhonka chal raha hai reta aapki aankhon mein aa gayi thode se baad aap aankhon mein aa gayi aapka kisi doctor ne slate lamp examination kiya he found there was a loss in epithelium so there's it's an abrasion or erosion similarly if there is inflammation along with that loss of inflammation uh, epithelium we will term it as a corneal ulcer so With inflammation, it's corneal ulcer. फिर corneal abscess क्या होता है? Abscess वैसे क्या होता है? Does anyone know what an abscess is? Fluid होगा. Pus. Pus or fluid. Abscess और empyema में क्या फर्क होता है? These are all pathology terms. So abscess जब हम कहते हैं, it's pus. और इक्रोटिक फ्लूड न्यूट्रोफिल जिसमें रेचो एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट इट्स इंक्लोज और कंटेन विद इन कैविटी इट्स अ प्री फॉर्म कैविटी वी कॉल इट एम्पाइमा इफ इट्स अ न्यू कैविटी वी कॉल एन एक्सेस इन दैट दिस पस दिस फ्लूड एंड दिस ऑल सॉर्ट ऑफ न्यूक्रोटिक मटेरियल कंटेनिंग डेड बैक्टीरिया एंड डेड न्यूट्रोफिल्स कंटेन्ड इन अ वॉल ऑफ कंटेन्ड इन अ वॉल ऑफ इन्फ्लेमेटरी सेल्स meaning it's a localized collection of pus in other terms simple terms of corneal ulcer or corneal abscess mein kya farak hai hum isi cheez ko discuss karna cha rahe the na hame keratitis samajh aa gayi to these are some of the terms acha ulcer ye hota hai ki there is a loss of epithelium sath inflammation hai so the normal corneal epithelium is lost aur wahan pe inflammation aa gayi hai agar us ulcer ke upar नॉर्मल कॉमियल एपिथीलियम दोबारा ग्रो कर जाए तो क्या होगा उसे ये होगा कि देर विल बी डेड कॉर्नियल टिश्यू या इंफ्लामेटरी कॉर्नियल टिश्यू रिजनल कॉर्नियल टिश्यू एंड आउटवर्ड टू डेट टिश्यू विल बी द नक्रोटिक मटीरियल विल बी द नक्रोटिक स्टफ द डेड टिश्यू द पस एंड फर्दर आउटवर्ड विल बी द न्यू लेयर ऑफ कॉर्नियल एपिथीलियम so if i try to draw it it will look some like if this is a normal corneal contour if this is normal contour and else it mean that there is a discontinuity in this contour right and there is necrotic or pussy material over here so this is an ulcer if new corneal cells they grow over this ulcer and they enclose all that necrotic material and all that pus between them This is a corneal abscess. ठीक है यानी कि पस पड़ी हुई है उसके पीछे भी कॉर्निया है लेयर से कॉर्निया के उसके ऊपर कॉर्नियल एपिथिलियम डिवेलप हो गया दिस इज अ कॉर्नियल एप्सिस दिस इट गेट्स कंफ्यूजिंग आफ्टर वाइल बिकॉज इन बुक्स द ट्रीटमेंट इज समवर्ट डिफरेंट कॉर्नियल एप्सिस की ट्रीटमेंट डिफरेंट है कॉर्नियल एल्सर की ट्रीटमेंट डिफरेंट ऑल दैट सो यू हैव टू बी क्लियर So what an ulcer is and what an abscess is, and if you remember this, that an abscess it usually develops after an ulcer. Ulcer is a superficial layer, eroded, हो गई है, और वहाँ पे necrotic material जमा होना शुरू हो गया है. अब उसके ऊपर जब normal develop हो जाते हैं, without resolution of the initial infection and inflammation, and the material, the ab, the pus. it's trapped between 
the deeper layers of the cornea, and now a newer corneal epithelial layer. It's called an abscess. So, to bara se ek bar dekh lete hain. What would be a corneal ulcer in this picture? A corneal ulcer will be a discontinuity of these layers. Yahan pe kisa khatam ho gaya, and there is accumulation of pus and necrotic tissue. This is. ये क्या मैंने ड्रॉ किया अभी इफ समन कैन अप्रिशिएट माय आर्टिस्टिक स्किल्स इट्स अ कॉर्नियल अल्सर राइट बट इफ दिस नॉर्मल एपिथेलियम इफ द नॉर्मल एपिथेलियम इट डेवलप्स ओवर दिस एब्सेस ऑन द क्रोटिक मटेरियल व्हाट इज दिस एब्सेस दिस इज एन एब्सेस दिस इज द डिफरेंशिएशन यू कैन लुक एट दिस टू सी दिस इज एन एपिथेलियल लेयर नॉर्मल एपिथेलियल लेयर अबव द पस एंड अबव द पस Or and if that epithelial layer is absent, and this is a, am ye kya hai? Ulcer. Ulcer, right? Ulcer, and now an abscess. So we know inflammation, we know healing. Half the third year, I'm a chhita ram padha. Okay, whenever inflammation occurs, there is an acute phase, there is a chronic phase. Well, in two phases, they come and they go out. How does an inflammation resolve? Fibrosis. Fibrosis. Fibrosis, uh, which can either be healing if it's good, and if it's not good, it's called scarring. Fibrosis, psychiatric formation. So the key point in uh, cornea is that cornea also heals by the same mechanisms. But the important thing is that if the Bowman's layer is destroyed or not. So when the cornea heals and the Bowman's layer is destroyed, it will heal by opacification and by scarring. Thus, that scar or that fibrosis, it will appear as different types of opacities. And these are the different types of opacities which we will discuss. When we uh, discuss the corneal opacities, there are certain terms which come, uh, which are discussed in the text. One is called nebula. एक नेबुला है उसके अलावा एक और है उसको क्या कहते हैं पीछे भी पड़ा होता है इट्स आल्सो नदर नेम ऑफ द एरिया एंड देन देयर इज अनदर टर्म टर्म इज कॉल्ड अल्यूकोमा दीज आर बेस्ड ऑन सिवेरिटी द ल्यूकोमा इज द सिवेरेस्ट एंड द नेबुला is the least severest of these opacities severity hum kaise judge karte hain in opacities ki we judge the severity of these opacities on the basis of what we can see through them or the details which we can appreciate through them the cornea ke piche kya pada hota hai immediately behind the cornea what's the structure represent behind the cornea iris iris right so we we see that how much detail of the iris we can appreciate through the cornea and then we uh, we create this so if i can appreciate all the details of the iris i can appreciate the muddy pattern i can appreciate the waviness of the area i can appreciate the pupil and the pupillary fill it's a normal uh, cornea there's no opacity but if there were an opacity i would slightly been able matlab bilkul gam se i would not have been able to uh, uh, completely differentiate or completely appreciate the details but ever so slightly and that least degree is called a nebula i don't have a picture of a nebula uh, but you have to remember is that we can somewhat or slightly appreciate the details of the iris the second degree is a macula right look at this picture and i want you to focus specifically on this point within this large uh, square diaphragm can you appreciate a corneal opacity yes can you appreciate the details of the corneal opacity uh, appreciate the details of the iris through this corneal opacity 
a little a little how what, what can you appreciate kya nazar aa raha can you see the pits the troughs any of the sort around this area nahi sirf color nazar aa raha color nazar aa raha can you appreciate where the iris ends where the pupillary margin is yes yes so such an opacity in which you are not able to differentiate or not able to appreciate the finer details of the iris but you can uh, clearly demarcate the boundaries and the pupillary margin such an opacity is called a macula all right so such an opacity is a macula now first aap ko bhi confuse karna hai tank and then again we take this picture और इसका हम छोटा सा पार्टिक अप्रिशिएट करते हैं लुक एट दिस पार्ट विद इन द स्क्वेयर कैन यू अप्रिशिएट द डिटेल्स ऑफ द आयरिस नो नो यू कैन नॉट अप्रिशिएट द डिटेल्स ऑफ कैन यू अप्रिशिएट वेयर द पिपिलरी मार्जिन इज नो 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 सो सच अ मास अ सच अ लीजन और ओपेसिटी ऑफ द कॉर्निया टू व्हिच यू कैन नॉट appreciate the details of the iris and you cannot appreciate the pupillary margin such an opacity is called a leucoma leucoma ka matlab hai leuco means white and ma means mass so this is a leucoma a leucoma do not confuse a leucoma with leuco leuco korea kya hota white pupillary reflex so white pupillary reflex meaning that the opacity or whatever the whitish region is it's present behind the pupil whereas the leucoma or the white mass is corneal and present in front this is actually leucoma because uh, we graded according to the, the opacity the sabse iska severest effect hai, even though we can appreciate the margins through this part over here this will be graded as leucoma so another picture of a leucoma look at these small whitish spots this is a leucoma so this leucoma we are not able to appreciate the margins of the iris the margin we are not able to appreciate the details of the small so this is a leucoma is there anything wrong with this picture as well kuch aur masla hai is this video Even mind you looking at the patient from directly in front, उसकी आंख नीचे की तरफ नहीं देख रही. Congestion of pupil. Hmm, congestion of pupil. All right. Ah, uh, pupil congestion. It's a little bit vague. Position. Ah, uh, pause. Sorry, my bad. मैंने गलत सुना. It's the position of the pupil. So the position of pupil. Can you feel or can you appreciate that something is pulling or tugging the pupil inferiorly or there is traction or pull inferiorly just behind the leucoma so we have our with ourselves corneal opacity through which we cannot appreciate the details of the iris and the pupillary margin so it's a kya kehte hain is mask ko it's a leucoma so we have a leucoma but we see that the iris adherent behind the leucoma and how we can tell it's adherent because the pupil is positioned and it's deranged in such a way that some it's uh, something is applying traction immediately behind the leucoma so if a corneal ulcer or any corneal opacity it he uh, corneal lesion it heals uh, in the form of a leucoma and the iris is attached posteriorly to the leucoma it is called an adherent leucoma this is an adherent leucoma okay. is an adherent leucoma similarly look at this picture is white 
mass present around here, to which we cannot appreciate lesions or not appreciate the pupillary mass and not the details. So it's a lipoma. And again, we see that the iris is trapped or stuck behind this lipoma. So again, our lesion is an adherent lipoma. Adherent lipoma may hota ye hai. कि जहां कॉर्नियल एफ्लेक्शन है कि वो हील करती है उसके बाद आयरिस चिपक जाता है आयरिस चिपक जाता है सिर्फ पीछे दैट इज कॉल्ड एन एडहेरेंट लिपोमा अगर आयरिस उसके درمیان फंस जाए तो हम क्या लीजन को कहेंगे Iris is a corneal ulcer or scar tissue in the tissue. In adherent leukoma, the iris is sticking to the back side of this opacity. Meaning that if I were to draw a cornea, and corneal surface is a corneal surface, then the iris is sticking to the back side. Piche piche chip kara sara. Adherent to the back surface of the cornea. And there is an opacity over here. So this is an adherent leukoma. Now, instead of uh, being stuck behind, if it's stuck inside this opacity, uh, it becomes a part of, of the iris is stuck in it. And this is the normal iris over here. So if it's stuck inside, it's called, what is it called? Interior stephaloma. Ah, uh, no, interior stephaloma is like last time. Uh, it's called an like incarcerated iris. Incarcerated means trapped. And it also has another name which I'm uh, forgetting at the moment. Incarcerated iris. And if that iris, which is incarcerated, there's also ballooning of the cornea. Meaning that this was our cornea. And this was the iris which was stuck inside the cornea. Now this iris is also stuck and what happens is that the cornea balloons outwards and that stuck iris, it also balloons outward with the cornea. What will this condition be called then? Staphyloma. Anterior staphyloma. Anterior staphyloma, right? And in anterior staphyloma, we've discussed uh, when we uh, briefly discussed when we discussed uh, when we had our lectures on so this is a picture of an anterior staphyloma. This patient developed a corneal ulcer. This corneal ulcer ruptured. And when it started to heal, the iris, it got trapped inside the fibrous tissue or the healing tissue. And due to the intraocular pressure, and this tissue was so weak that it was not able to withstand the intraocular pressure, the normal intraocular pressure. So it started to balloon outwards. In the ballooning outwards of any outer coat of the eye, it's called a staphyloma. When the cornea balloons outward uh, and it contains part of the iris with it, it's called an anterior staphyloma. Right? So these are some of the sequelae which develop when a corneal, uh, corneal ulcer heals or when a corneal uh, ulcer can rupture. These are opacities. And if there's a corneal ulcer, which ruptures and it heals by a formation of a leukoma in the iris, it sticks to the back side of the leukoma. It's called an adherent leukoma. If the iris, it gets trapped inside the uh, healing tissue, it's called an incarcerated iris or a corneoiridal scar, iridocorneal scar. It's also called an iridocorneal scar. And if that iridocorneal scar, it balloons outwards like this, it's called an anterior staphylococcus. So these are some of the basic corneal opacities which you have to remember. These are important from the MCQ point uh, point of view. Differentiation. Can I below macula me kafarek hai macula leukoma me? Remember the details of the iris and the pupillary margin. That is what you have to remember. And secondly, uh, into the MCQs are jate. Now that we know what's a keratitis, what's corneal ulcer, and the different type of opacities, let's come on to the clinical features. Corneal ulcer, what is it? We have seen it. How does it present? 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 And finally, how do we manage a corneal ulcer? So look at this picture closely.
साइंस अभी हम डिस्कस कर लेते हैं सो सिम्टम्स वट डू यू थिंक विल बी द सिम्टम्स ऑफ कॉर्नियल एल्सर और पेशेंट हु प्रजेंट विद कॉर्नियल एफ्लेक्शन वट डू यू थिंक विल बी द सिम्टम्स क्या सिम्टम्स हो सकते हैं पेन पेन दर्द होगी जब आंख में कुछ भी चला जाता है दैट इज ट्रू पेन लेट्स फर्दर दिस पेन कॉर्नियल एफ्लिक्शन में स्पेसिफिक टाइप दिस ऑल्सो स्पेसिफिक टाइप ऑफ पेन There's a specific type of pain and discomfort on exposure to bright light. That is called photophobia. Photophobia. Photophobia means phobia, terror, photo light. Meaning that the patient he tries to avoid naturally avoids tries to avoid daylight, sunlight, any source of bright light. Photophobia. Pain. Or क्या आप symptoms हो सकते हैं corneal lesions के, corneal affections के, specifically in the context of corneal lesions. Blurred vision. Blurred vision. Blurred vision. That is correct. If there is an ulcer, blurred vision or disturbance in vision. If there is an ulcer, as in, if you look at the pupil in front of you, the patient will not be. Or what can happen? Red eye. Red eye. The red eye's differentials. I will not ask you, but you should know the differentials of red eye. You will always know the differentials of. हमेशा आ रहे हैं बैठने चाहिए वो चार पांच दस मिनट सो द पेशेंट कैन प्रेजेंट विद रेड आई बिल्कुल घर वाले से बता सकते हैं तुम्हारी आंखें लाल हैं बिल्कुल और क्या हो सकता है फॉरेन बॉडी सेंसेशन होगी लैक्रिमेशन लैक्रिमेशन फॉर बॉडी सेंसेशन अ फॉरेन बॉडी सेंसेशन इसमें एज सच नहीं होती क्योंकि इसमें जो बाकी सिम्टम्स हैं वो प्रेजेंट कर दें पेशेंट प्रेजेंट कर सकते हैं बट इट्स नॉट अ हार्ड सिम्टम आपकी आंखों में मिट्टी आ जाए कुछ भी आ जाए या फॉर्म बॉडी तो आ ही जाती है तो इफ इज एनीथिंग अफेक्टिंग द कॉर्निया द लैक्रमेशन विल ऑलवेज हैपन एज अ रिफ्लेक्स टू वॉश अवे वट एवर इज अक्यूमुलेटिंग हेयर और क्या हो सकता है लेड इन्वॉल्व हो सकती है लेड इन्वॉल्व होती है बल्कि योर राइट फॉर्म बॉडी सेंसेशन होती है माय बैड विल हैव टू करेक्ट दैट फॉर्म बॉडी सेंसेशन Is present over here. Late involvement हो सकती है. Late involvement कैसे होती है इसमें? Just with time and contact. Contact what? Uh, Lephrospasm. Lephrospasm. What is lephrospasm? Tight closure of the lips. Tight closure of the lips. So lephrospasm होता ये है कि Uh, patient has photophobia. He does not want to look at light. Uh, but it's impossible to avoid light in certain conditions, right? रात को तो आप light avoid कर सकते हैं, turn off the lights of your home. But in daylight or in any other conditions or when you're living with different people, you cannot avoid light. What happens is that patient he forcefully tries to close his eyes so that his photophobia is minimized. That forceful closure of the lids, that forceful closure of the eyes, it is called. Lepharo spasm. Lepharo means lid. Spasm means spasm. So your typical patient of corneal ulcer will present with uh, he will present with pain. He will present with photophobia, lacrimation, redness, and uh, sometimes uh, if it's an overt ulcer, he will also present with uh, an ulcer or lesion or a mass. And if a patient after that present karega with these symptoms. Uh, I cannot look at bright light. My eyes they start to hurt. I have the patient forcefully closes their eyes even when sometimes even when they are visiting. Uh, there's immense tearing and there's immense pain. When you perform the clinical examination, what do you expect to see? Jaldi jaldi batana. We have only ten minutes and we need to finish this in this session. Corneal opacity. Corneal opacity or a corneal lesion. 
कॉनल ओपेसिटी है कि ओपेसिटी तो बिल्कुल बिल्कुल सही है अच्छा आपने ओपेसिटी के नाम लिया इन ओपेसिटी कैन बी मैक्युला इट कैन बी नेबुला एंड ऑल दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ स्टफ राइट तो वो तो ठीक है हाउ विल बी चेक इफ इट इज अ कॉनल लीजन और कॉनल अल्सर फ्लोरोसिन स्टेनिंग फ्लोरोसिन स्टेनिंग ठीक है कॉनल अल्सर ऑन फ्लोरोस्टेन हां सो रोली फ्लोरोसिन सिन स्टेन विल शो यू दैट इट्स अ कॉनल अल्सर और क्या है साइंस आप पिक्चर को देखें साइंस बताएं लुक एट द पिक्चर टेल मी द साइंस सिलरी कंजेशन सिलरी कंजेशन सिलरी कंजेशन वी नो दैट इट ओनली ऑकर्स इन थ्री डिजीजेस द अदर टू आर यूवीआईटिस यूवीआईटिस एन एक्यूट एंगल क्लोज ब्रोकोमा और सेमी सिलरी कंजेशन हो सकती है और क्या है इस तस्वीर में is one thing you are missing it's pretty obvious because i know it's there ye kya hai hypopion 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 is present in corneal ulcers it can be present in corneal ulcers कुछ पॉलिसिस में होता है कुछ नहीं होता हम आगे डिस्कस कर लेते हैं हाइपोपियन इज आल्सो अ साइन अगर हाइपोपियन है तो हाइपोपियन के अलावा हमें क्या मिल सकता है तो हाइपोपियन के साथ अमूमन मिलती है चीजें इन्फ्लेमेशन के साइन इन्फ्लेमेशन के साइन स्पेसिफिकली कैरेटिक प्रेसिपिटेट्स सो यू कैन आल्सो फाइंड कैरेटिक प्रेसिपिटेट्स so more or less these are the signs we will find a corneal opacity or a corneal ulcer there will be circum ciliary uh, ciliary congestion around the eye there will be a hypopion or a keratic precipitate presence of keratic precipitates and uh bas yahi hai the given is the signs so you can again aap symptoms aapko bhi samajh aa rahe hain aapko signs samajh aa rahe hain so you can by yourself from the typical history of a corneal ulcer with the patient so when you wake up a patient of corneal ulcers patient says specifically wake up when you wake up a patient of corneal ulcers uh, what do you need to do can you remind me fluorostain slate lamp examination slate lamp with fluorostain that is good that is one of the most important um, examinations which you can do fluorostain stain scraping scraping scrapings are very important scrapings are important in infective when you suspect an infective etiology and infective etiologies the spec uh, scrapings can give you perfect diagnosis to confirm it free diagnosis whether it's a fungal uh, it's viral it's bacterial or it's a parasitic corneal ulcer the scraping scraping culture and sensitivity or microscopy और आप क्या करवाना चाहेंगे विजुअल विजुअल इक्विटी। बिल्कुल। आपको पता है कि खराब होगी आपके पास होकर आएगी तो हम उसको भी सही टू कहते हैं वर्किंग आप पेशेंट आपने बिल्कुल करानी है लेकिन आई एम लुकिंग फॉर द स्पेसिफिक थिंग्स विच यू नीड टू डू इन केस ऑफ कॉलेज आंसर हाउ विल यू चेक the thickness of the cornea keratopetry that is a good answer for another question that is the answer for my next question how will you check the curvature of the cornea you can answer now how will you check the curvature of the cornea buzzword what is tachymetry how do you use a tachymetry it is used to measure the thickness of the cornea 
प्रोविजन ऑफ द कॉनी है कैरेटोमीट्री कैरेटोमीट्री हम क्यों कह देंगे इस केस में एस्टिग्मेटिज्म को चेक करने के लिए एस्टिग्मेटिज्म को चेक करने कहते हैं बेसिकली इफ वी सस्पेक्ट दैट स्टेफिलोमा इज ऑकरिंग तो हमें अगर माइल्ड स्टेफिलोमा है तो हमें कैसे पता लगेगा नॉट एवरीबॉडी प्रेजेंट्स विद अ स्ट्रॉबेरी और अ ब्लूबेरी इन फ्रंट ऑफ देयर आईज राइट दिस इज अ एक्सट्रीम केस इतने के लिए हमारी लर्निंग के लिए बट इफ इट्स माइल्ड स्लोली स्टार्टिंग टू डेवलप दिस टेस्ट ऑफ कैरेटोमीट्री कैन हेल्प अस सिमिलरली अ थिकनेस ऑफ द कॉर्निया पैकिमीट्री How can we know a corneal ulcer is about to rupture or it's very thin? यहाँ पे opacity है, ये तो form है pachymetry. Pachymetry thickness कह सकते हैं. How can we check the number of endothelial cells? Histology. Histology. Histology हम करा नहीं सकते यहाँ कि क्योंकि we cannot take a biopsy. That means वहाँ पे opacity आएगी. The thing we do is called specular micros. This is an investigation in which uh, you use a microscope. I have a microscope to count the number of cells, endothelial cells in a grain. This is uh, used to determine prognosis. These three investigations are very important because they are high yield for MCQs: pathometry, keratometry, and microscope. So management. General principles of management. Jaldi jaldi batayein. General principles kya hai management ke? Ham detail mein next session discuss karenge. Antibiotics. एंटीबायोटिक्स ठीक है एंटीबायोटिक्स और क्लीनलीनेस जनरल हाइजीन और जनरल मेजर्स ठीक है जनरल मेजर्स एंटीबायोटिक्स और लोकल आरएक्स लोकल ट्रीटमेंट इस सर्जिकल ट्रीटमेंट एप्सिस को अगर बन गया है उसको हमें ड्रेन करना पड़ेगा सर्जिकल आरएक्स फॉर एन एप्सिस देन वी हैव आरएक्स ऑफ कॉम्प्लिकेशंस मैं आपको जल्दी जल्दी बता रहा हूं अभी फोर हेडिंग्स यू रिमेंबर दीस एंड वी विल मॉडिफाई देम एंड वी डिस्कस आवर फर्स्ट केस द नेक्स्ट टाइम सो दीस आर द जनरल आउटलाइन सो वी हैव सीन हाउ वी कैन मैनेज अ पेशेंट द सिम्टम्स द साइंस एंड नाउ द कॉजेस of a corneal ulcer the corneal ulcer it can be infectious or it can be immune mediated like conjunctivitis of this is so when we discussing the infectious causes infectious causes can either be parasitic it can either be fungal it can either be viral or it can either be hame kaise pata lagega history mein ki it's bacterial fungal viral or parasitic हिस्ट्री के क्लूज हैं हमें इंडिविजुअल केसेस देखने पड़ेंगे बट आई विल टेल यू पैरासिटिक इट्स नॉट दैट हाई हिट फॉर एग्जामिनेशन तो अभी कैन लीव इट फॉर नो देर आर टू टर्म्स स्पेसिफिक वन इज अपोन अल्सर एंड वन इज ए जियोग्राफिक डेंड्रेटिक अल्सर I have to remember this. Uh, it's a broad association. But hypopion ulcers are caused by fungal and bacterial causes, and geographic and dendritic ulcers they are caused by viral causes. ये क्या होते हैं? We will discuss these in the next session, and we will inshallah in our next session we will discuss hypopion ulcers. Hypopion ulcer आपने पढ़ के आने हैं? Viral ulcer, dendritic ulcer मैं आपको दिखा दूँगा. So this was a brief overview.